today's video topic is uh, hiatus hernia. In the previous videos, we have seen all type of hernias, why, it, how it happens, all these things we have seen. Today, the topic is hiatus hernia. Uh, hiatus, little meaning is a hole. Uh, that's called hiatus. So, uh, every, uh, we, uh, as a normal anatomy, our chest is differentiated. I mean, divided by the diaphragm. We have a diaphragm that separates our chest and abdomen. And normally, the diaphragm has holes through which our foot pipe comes. This is one, and also the greater vessels we call it from the heart, the iota, IVC, all these things. You know, they also go through other holes. So we have a hiatus through which the um, normal uh, organs are traveling into the abdomen. When esophagus, that is a foot pipe and stomach junction area as a sphincter we everybody knows and also the diaphragm has a, uh, a structure that like a sling uh, which protects the stomach going upwards there is a sling like muscular structure that prevents the stomach sliding up when the stomach from the abdomen to uh, goes into the chest it's called hiatus hernia there are generally two types one is sliding hiatus hernia, that is the commonest one, where the foot pipe and part of the stomach, upper part, that's called fundal, they all come up into the chest. The other one is paraesophageal, wherein the esophagus, that is the foot pipe, doesn't move, only the stomach goes up. The second one, the paraesophageal, is the one which causes a lot of complications, uh, which require uh, you know immediate treatment or a surgical procedure or something. Hiatus hernia is very common. It could be a very normal phenomenon for a, any normal person. What does it give? Hiatus hernia, the commonest uh, uh, symptom is heartburn. That is a acid reflux, GR, any kind of thing. But most of the people with hiatus hernia, they can be without acid reflux or heartburn or even the GRD. So that means not all people with hiatus hernia will have acid reflux symptoms. And uh, other things, you know, like uh, they have a water brush, uh, you know, uh, sometimes they can get uh, ulcers because of the stomach is moving up and down, you know, uh, under pressure. It can give ulcers in the stomach, it can bleed. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 some people have developed even anemia because of the chronic bleeding. Uh, Paraesophageal uh, uh, hyatosernia. Because the esophagus is not moving, only the stomach is moving, so it can it can uh, go into rotation, wall rotation, or valveless. It's a surgical emergency. So the, these are the things can happen, and uh, usually it happens. Uh, why it happens? Uh, anything generally we can say someone was born, you know, uh, with a large hiatus. The hole itself is so big. So naturally, the stomach can move easily up. On. Or people are obese. When they're obese, the fat is deposited in that particular area. So easily, stomach can slide. Third, anything that increases intraabdominal pressure, like normal pregnancy, even obesity, or uh, even strain coughing, or a chronic cough. Suppose somebody is having a wheezing or maybe a TB. So there is a wheezing or cough. They are putting pressure. So it can come up after a period of time. Constipation. Suppose somebody is straining or somebody is having a very laborious job. So this can weaken the uh, hiatus through which the stomach can go in. Whether to worry about this, if it is asymptomatic, if it is not giving you any trouble, nothing to worry. You don't have to do anything for that. But if it gives symptoms like acidity, ulcer, you know, all this heartburn, all this thing, then you need uh, uh, treatment. Before that, it should be confirmed. You know, like diagnosis has to be done. Generally, uh, the endoscopy is the gold standard. Or sometimes bearing swallows, bearing many more pictures, they will do that. The gastroenterologists do that. But always, endoscopy is the gold standard procedure. And if the symptomatic patients, lifestyle is the best. Always, lifestyle is the best. What is that? Reduce your weight. Have proper food at the proper time. Don't exceed the quantity and quality of food, you know, uh, uh, even the fatty food can 
you know sometimes trigger these things and of course other things lose your weight reduce your fat uh, in the body keep yourself fit and reduce any intra-abdominal pressure pregnancy we cannot uh, do anything but other things like maybe a wild cough wheezing constipation all these things should be uh, treated even after changing the lifestyle if it's really disturbing disturbing the later activities then surgical procedure is the best uh, uh, option laparoscopically we do that laparoscopic uh, nissen's fundal application where you know the stomach uh, the hiatus part is strength of the sling is tightened well and the stomach is wrapped on its own so that it won't go up so this is there is done by keyhole laparoscopically so it's a very um, effective procedure which gives the patient a good relief if it's a, uh, a paraesophageal uh, uh, slightly hiatus hernia then uh, um, we expect valvulus kind of uh, complications as I told you know rotation small rotation kind of thing the, for that even the patient doesn't have any symptoms or anything if we found uh, if we found out by some uh, clinical uh, history or examination or by some uh, radiological finding then we'll suggest some for the surgery uh, so hiatus hernia is through a normal hole in the diaphragm where the stomach goes up causing giving some trouble thank you